yeah, it's just about 9.30 in the morning. And this is the beginning of the BTS vlog for October 30th, uh, 2013. And I'm doing this vlog on the run, or actually on the go. Uh, because I realized as I made an order for some food that I had to pick up at a warehouse, uh, that uh, I better do it now before it starts to rain because it's kind of gray outside. So if I don't know if you can see this, how gray it is outside. And it had rained earlier. So now there's a break and I can go and, well, because of this camera, I can vlog and uh, walk at the same time. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Anyways, I'm going down here. This is where I'm, this factory, this, this warehouse I'm coming to on, on the second, on the way back, but I'm going somewhere else first. Uh, it's just around the corner from here to pick up some food. It's a food warehouse and I get it wholesale. So, uh, that being said, uh, what's on the schedule for today? Well, uh, I got to work on the university again today. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but because of the crash, well, didn't quite happen. So the university is the thing that has to be done. Uh, what else has to be done? I have to finish shooting um, the uh, Insta vlogs. It has to be finished shooting. Same thing with uh, Beauty and the Geek. I have to finish that up. And then I have to work on the editing bay. And hopefully there will be a couple episodes going up today uh, for Ubuntu BSD units of Dow and Beauty and the Geek. That's the goal for today. Uh, but otherwise, uh, uh, it's hard to say what, what's going to happen for the rest of the day. Anyways, that's it for this BTS vlog. I will talk to you in a couple hours. Actually, because we're actually on the food, uh, on the food shopping uh, tour, on the, should I say, on the shopping uh, uh, walk, that uh, I will come back in and uh, you'll be able to sort of see as things go along. Yeah, so this is where I'm going here. This is where I'm walking. Well, I can't, got what I came to get, and it's on my back. And once again, it's another relatively heavy load. It's not as bad as it was yesterday, but still, uh, with, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, 16 liters on your back. That gets kind of uh, weighty, <laughs> shall we say. So yeah, I'm finishing here. This is coming out of the uh, coming out of the building here. We're just walking around the back of the warehouse, and we're not done yet. I have more stop to go, and kind of when we get there, I'll show you kind of what it's all about and what I'm getting. Anyways, you'll see how I shop. Okay, I'm walking down the street now. This is the street that I'm on. And we're heading towards that big building at the end. And then we're going to take a left. On the right is uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, I think it's Don Valley North uh, Toyota dealership. It's at uh, Markham and Steel, uh, at, uh, sorry, Victoria Park and Steels. And they're building in here. So, the area still has some pretty good wooded areas, even though they're they are doing construction and development. Uh, they do make an effort to keep areas that are wooded uh, somewhat intact. In other words, they develop only where they need to develop, and uh, that's kind of a good thing. It keeps the uh, wildlife, it keeps sort of the nature here growing. And as you see the colors. Everything in you know, the fall is definitely here. And we've had some cold temperatures. And that's where I'm going now. Is I'm going to a, a uh, clothing warehouse. And the full purpose there is that uh, I want to get some uh, clothes for very cheap. This is how I do things. Uh, you either buy wholesale, go to an outlet. And because I'm in an industrial area, 
that's exactly what I have in my neighborhood. So that kind of gives me an option, you know, no uh, more options than if you weren't in an in industrial area. <sighs> Anyways, when we get close to the place, I'll start vlogging again. Okay, so I've crossed the street. That's where we came from. And now I'm going in that direction, and you'll see where we're going to get clothes. When clothes shop. So this is more than just simply a food shopping thing. Even when I go food shopping, it's not always necessarily food, sh food shopping. And I think it's, here's a nice, really, you know, really nice wooded area in here. Uh, so we do have the woods here still. Still have the wildlife. So I'm going over here. And I'm going to get some clothes. So I'll be back in just a minute. Because I'm going up here and then uh, into the store there. I'm done my shopping and I got the clothes I wanted so now it's a matter of walking back to my place now so this is where we came from up in there and they do they're a wholesaler and they take overstock and then they resell the overstock and so now I'm walking back to my place and my street is just right here it's right around the corner from me so <laughs> It's a very close thing. And I decided to ask the guy about... Whoa. You guys fell over there for a bit. And I decided that I asked the guy about clothing manufacturing to, to look into some research on, uh, on clothing design and manufacture. And they do have contact with uh, large manufacturers in... Uh, India and China and Asia so if you are a, a clothing designer you design your clothes you, you you contact these guys here and you can make your arrangement to be sold in large department stores or even online if you want to create an online store you could do that too so this is a cool thing anyways I'll talk to you when I get back the stuff is kind of heavy and I got to conserve my energy as you can see we're walking up the street and I'll see you when we get back it's just about uh, 7 45 so we get to start here oh there we go countdowns timer started so it's just about 7 45 on Thursday morning uh, it's October 31st yeah it's Halloween today it's raining outside, so I don't know. And there's supposed to be a major, there was supposed to be a major storm on its way, so I don't know what's going to happen with trick or treating. But I never, I never have enough guts to go. go I don't have enough guts to go trick or treating. I would like to go trick or treating still, but uh, I don't think that uh, people would uh, 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 be too happy to see. <laughs> this is a costume. I don't think they take this as a costume. Is it, Wait a minute, aren't you too old for trick or treating? <laughs> so, anyways, um, what happened earlier is that um, this is why the, you notice there's a bit of a difference in today's BTS vlog is that uh, I started the first segment, the, the beginning of the BTS vlog, uh, while I was food shopping. <laughs> I had placed the order. Uh, to go to do uh, to do the food shopping to go to the warehouse and pick everything up and on the website it says you know call ahead two hours so I said okay I'll call uh, order the stuff and then go to our film film the film the segment and then two hours later I'll go pick it up well I call and um, they told me just to come in and pick the stuff up that I didn't have to wait. So uh, that's kind of the way it went is that uh, instead of uh, waiting uh, to go pick, it up, pick the stuff up two hours later, I went right then and there and I realized that with the new camera and the, and the quality that the camera shoots at, because it's basically, uh, this camera here was an icon, was an icon um, cool pics. And when I had bought the HD camera, that the one for outdoors, uh, to replace, see, this is the this is the camera I used to go food shopping with. This is it here. 
It's a Sylvania HD. But if you look at the camera itself, what you'll see is the camera is basically, there's no lens here, it's a pinhole. And pinhole cameras have a very tight focus. In other words, it's like you're zoomed in permanently on this camera. And so as you walk, you see the shaking, you see everything. It's not, it's sort of a very tight focus. Uh, with a lens camera like a Nikon, uh, you know, you get a bet, much better picture. You get a wider picture. You don't see the shakes as much. The difference was, was that this, I got this uh, just two years ago, not even two years ago. No, not even two years ago. I got this uh, for, for $40. And well, so that was a good price, forty bucks for a high for a 720p HD camera. That's a good price. But what happened is that uh, uh, as prices came down, the Nikon's came on sale for sixty dollars a pair. So I got the first sixty dollar, the first sixty dollar one, uh, the first one that was here uh, for sixty bucks. Not a problem. Worked well here. And then just uh, two weeks ago, uh, the place. Uh, I got it from had another Nikon Coolpix on sale, a higher version, uh, for sixty dollars as well. So I got this second camera. For this I got this camera for sixty dollars. I took the camera that was here, the Nikon Coolpix that, that was here, and made that my travel camera. That's the one, the one I go shopping with. So I have a travel camera, that, camera that is a Nikon, and, and now this here, one here is a Nikon. And they both do a great job, and they provide a much better picture. So I realized that as I was going shopping with this better camera, that uh, I could actually uh, do the whole first segment on the, you know, while I was walking. So what happens is the food shopping segment becomes the first segment. So you'll see that, and you know, oh, you've actually because you want this is the last segment. You've already seen this. <laughs> I've got a, you know. <laughs> I gotta think that that segment has already been shot. It's, it's and you've already seen it. You're you're, you're watching this. Uh, you know, I, I'm thinking. I'm still thinking towards going towards editing, but you're watching this as a uh, as a complete product, as something fully put together. And this is the last segment, and so there is nothing more to this segment to the to to this BTS because BTS vlog because this is the last segment. So. And then, anyways, I got back. Uh, I think was, uh, I left at nine thirty. Got back around ten thirty, eleven, because it was just right around the corner. I, I ended up going clothes shopping too. You'll see that in there. Got what I wanted, and then um, basically uh, from about eleven to about six o'clock in the evening, I did some cleaning, some organizing. Uh, for both the electronics bench, the warehouse, uh, and in the kitchen diner. That's my that's my diner. They call the kitchen diner. That's in the web series. The kitchen diner is going to be based off the diner that I've built in 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 that room there. Uh, a lot of organizational work has to, ha, had to be done. It still has. There's still a lot more to be, to be done. <clears throat> Flubbing my words here. Yeah, so I got a lot of work done, a lot of organizational work done, a lot of cleaning work done. More still has to be done. That's on the schedule for this week. Uh, I wasn't able to get to the uh, the, the, the the campus work or the admissions work. Uh, I ha wasn't able to get to the uh, Beauty and the Geek uh, filming. I have that scheduled for today. So we'll see what ends up happening, how things go. Uh, I think I should be able to get most of the schedule done uh, and including some more stuff. So we'll see what ends up happening. I'll see how I'll end up working out these different episode issues. But I still have to do some uh, organizational work on the editing bay. And that's what slows things up as well. If the editing bay is not organized properly, you can shoot, you can film. But if, the if you have a delay on the editing bay, it delays getting the uh, actual episode out. So that actually has to be done as well. So I have editing bay work to do as well. Uh, that's it for today. I think we'll leave it here. Uh, because in a few hours, probably around 10 o'clock, we'll do the, the uh, opening BTS vlog for uh, October 31st. Uh, and into uh, October... Oh, no, on into November 1st. So this is going to be uh, an interesting thing. So uh, it'll take us into the weekend, basically the Thursday, Friday. And then Friday's vlog will be another three-day vlog. All right, that's it. 
Um, take it easy. I'll see you in a couple hours for the next BTS vlog. All right. Bye-bye.